All right, now I'm going to be removing the power trim and tilt out of this 1978 115 horsepower Johnson motor. I have a power trim and tilt controller installed in the workbench here, so I have that plugged into the uh, harness. So it makes working on these pretty easy. So first thing we need to do, get the engine up. <laughs> And we can stop about there. All right, now I need a way to support the back end when you pull it out of there. So I'm going to hook up my chain hoist to the tail. Give it a couple of turns. Let's get the weight off the hydraulics. And that should do it right about there. All right, now what I'm gonna do is pull that top clip out of there. There's one on each side. You only need to do one side though. Makes life kind of easy. And falls right out. Now I'm gonna get a pin, hammer it out. All right, the thing's a little stuck in there. So I'm going to spray it down with some uh, PD blaster, let it soak in for a little while, do the other, other side, inside, outside, everywhere I can. Hopefully that'll help free it up. All right, it turns out it wasn't that stuck. I just needed to get more weight off the motor. Now I'm just going to hammer it out. I'm just going to use this old extension I have. And the pin is out. All right, with the top pin removed, I'm just gonna lower that shaft down a little bit. All right. That's ready to come out now. All right, now I'm going to remove the trim unit. It's a little dark in here. You can't really see much, but there's a Phillips head screw. Excuse me. There's a slotted head screw right here and another one up there, and then the seat will break free. All right, the center unit is loose. Now I can just feed the wire through the hole and pull the whole thing out. All right, now I'm going to remove the attaching hardware. Got a bolt here, 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 and three on the opposite side. All right. The unit is unbolted, so what I'm going to do is as I pull this out, I'm going to feed the wire back into the, the uh, little grommet hole here. Alright, these units are supposed to be able to fit out inside of there. But, oh, I said that has that notch there. This side doesn't have it and it was giving me trouble. Luckily, the entire midsection on this engine is falling apart. That's why you see this stuck steering cable and this broken tilt tube. But I hammered it out just a little bit. You know, what is that? half inch or so, and that should give me enough room to get it out of there. And there she is, in all of her greasy glory. Well, hope you found this video at least somewhat helpful.